And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Well, yeah, baby, that's why you, you, you give Nick the Rat for the freedom of the man, because this is Nick the Rat coming to you live from the sewer. Episode 49 of, uh, I guess it's the Nick the Rat show on the Dark Sewer Network. We're expanding. This is getting crazy over here. But first, we got to do the uh, complimentary uh, alcohol opener and pour. It's going to be a long night, everybody. It's Thanksgiving, isn't it, right? That's what today is. It's uh, the day of murdering people that fed us or something. Who knows? We have lots of news. We got a lot of voicemails. We got a lot of music. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. And the best way to get it is to go to, I guess, Either Twitter uh, at Nick the Rat or uh, hashtag Sewer Chat or any any uh, Nick the Rat dot com. Uh, you pick your poison, but once you picked it, uh, you got to stick with it because you can't just keep switching up your poisons. Yes, chat room. There are aliens. Okay, this, well, okay. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the chat room. It's getting crazy over here. You know, since it is Halloween, I think we should uh, we should get all the uh, wait. Wow. <laughs> Thanksgiving. It's not Halloween. Who said Halloween? Somebody has been drinking too much of this wine over here. It's Thanksgiving. So let's give thanks with this song. We're all going to be doing it tomorrow, unless you're working or you're, I don't know, maybe you just want to be alone for Thanksgiving. But I'm sure you'll still be having dinner. And this is Thanksgiving dinner, featuring right. Gavo. Yo, it's Gavo out here. D F E W. Three percent milk. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, I put some salt on the table. Call that table salt. I did it. I got my squad at the gym jumping over vault. Yeah. I made myself a sandwich. Sandwich. Cause I really need it. I need it. I FaceTime my grandma just to show her that I'm eating fried rice and dumplings. Yeah, I ain't traditional. They be giving me weird looks as if I'm despicable. They always treating me like I came fresh off the boat. The boat. They ask me who I voted for. I said I can't vote. Can't vote. Uh, pork, with pork with no spice. Fried broccoli with brown rice. Got 12 boxes of moon cake. I bought that because I don't bake. All of them kids in the 84. Yeah, they be making the shirt. Yeah. I help with my mom in the kitchen. We making that coconut flavor dessert. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving this dinner. This is the ghost Stacking of Dawn and Candy Jr. Trying to burn their mouth. They mouth. I come from Delhi. Get it right now from the south. No south. Grandpa walk in. Buddy toss the turkey out. Turkey. They be coming in, but they don't know what we about. They don't know it. Indie beats blasting. We don't mess with EDM. 
BPM. Don't mess. Be so hard. How about you check the BPM? BPM. You claim to be the man, but all I see is two CMs. Two CMs. So many spices stacking five by words on end. Ah. They coming in, they tongues burning, they faces turning red. Yeah. They ask for burgers and mashed potatoes, but all it got is not bread. Yummy. No apple cider, just mango drink. All up in the cup. Yeet. Let me tell you something. You take it else, and I'm holding up these cups. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. We eat the turkey and fall asleep. That's Thanksgiving dinner. Oh boy. That was some hot mashed potatoes right there. I like the piano. The piano is uh, the saving grace of that one right there, I think. I don't know. All right, so that was Thanksgiving dinner. You should call it a Halloween dinner. Um, Featuring Gabbo. Hold on one second here. I got to put this magical turkey right in that oven. And let's heat that oven up. All right, so... uh. As you know, this is uh, midnight in the sewer, apparently. It's um, the midnight in Brooklyn, New York. It's uh, been getting windy. There was a snowstorm coming up uh, uh, up up north. It hit people up north. It didn't hit New York, though. Well, maybe northern New York, but southern? No. No. Just a lot of wind for, like, a whole couple days. And that's how Thanksgiving began, right? I think, uh... No, but, uh, you ever, uh, you ever wonder why people eat turkey on Thanksgiving? Is it because of the wind, or is it because, whoa shit news? Turkey, stuffing, and pumpkin pie are probably the most common menu items at a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, cheese for me. Cheese and, uh, 40 ounces of old English. That's usually on my menu, I don't know. While most probably think these foods are representative of the three-day feast held between the pilgrims and the Wampanoags, historians have found that some turkey was eaten, but venison was the main attraction. It wasn't until the 1900s that Thanksgiving became a popular holiday. It's also when the traditional Thanksgiving menu arose. Food historian Tracy Deutsch says, In the early 20th century, things like turkey and cornbread and stuffing were something that was taught to new immigrants as a way of Americanizing them. (coughs) Oh, sorry. Well, it's kind of weird to think about. If we were given, if we were like, hey, you got to eat turkey and stuffing and corn muffins to like uh, convert people, what were the people that were already converted eating? I guess it was venison. I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, boy. Sorry. Um, yeah, so now you know why people eat turkey. It's because we were converting uh, immigrants to uh, uh, to something that they didn't want. I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's not why. If you, if you know the reason why the seasons change or why people eat turkey on Thanksgiving, give me a call at 917-719-5923. Let me say that again slower in case you're full of turkey right now and you want to give me a call. Uh, Nine, one, never mind. You know what it is. You know what it is, but this guy or girl or creature or alien or turkey or who knows who called me today, but somebody called me and they left me this voicemail. Let's let's, 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 let's listen in. Hey, Nick the Rat. This is Agent Doggett. I saw people get their throats ripped out and disappear into thin air and fall off cliffs and vanish. I'm looking for Larry. And green slime. And green slime, too. I was uh, I was just informed by my uh, partner agent. Green slime was there as well. It's unidentified at the moment, but we have, uh, we have scientists from Africa looking in on it. And I uh, just want to see if you know where Larry is. We're looking for him. If we could just find him, I could uh, continue on with my job. Thanks. All right. Bye. Well, 
if you want to talk about Larry, well, we could always uh, we could always talk about Larry because I think uh, we're gonna be doing the Larry show after right? this, right? Let me uh, check with the sound booth. I think there's a fly in the sound booth right now. He's my oh, yeah, he's giving me the thumbs up. He's telling me we gotta go to the promo. We gotta go to the promo, everybody. We're gonna roll the we're gonna roll the promo. I'm hosting my own show on the Dark wow. Network here in the sewer. Yeah. Wow. Ah, wow. Oh, yeah. Tune in every Sunday at 1 a.m. Wow. Uh, or Monday, I don't know. And I reveal all the truth and conspiracies of the Zika virus and the alien wow. DNA. Free! <laughs> Well, everything in that was uh, subject to change, especially the times and dates. I don't know where you got Monday and Sunday from. He's going on Wednesday night right after my show. I can't wait to listen. I haven't even heard it. Larry sent me this. He was like, play this and uh, get me on the Dark Sewer Network, and I'm going to make his dreams come true. And, And that's how I do it. So if you ever want your dreams to be made true, give me a call. If you're a um, spaceman or an alien or a monster that lives in the closet or possibly a cowboy. By Ellie. Oh, jeez. It's Argo Fox. Argo Fox. Cowboy. E L E X I V E. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting out of here. My ghost completely approves of the Nick the Rat podcast. Yeah, motherfucker, I thought I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times. Stop laughing at monkey bullshit up from the sewer. Smoke with you, Ducky.
that's how I feel when I'm walking up into the uh, kitchen on Thanksgiving and getting ready to eat all the cheese and drink all the eggnog or whatever. Whatever they got there, I'm drinking it. And uh, that that song, is, that's, a, that's a fun one. That was Cowboy, maybe by Argo Fox, who's everywhere. Argo Fox is a pretty incredible creator. Uh, E-L-E-X-I-V-E. Cowboy. Okay, so that that was that. That was a good stuff. Um, let's go to the news. I mean, news is really important stuff, right? When you don't know what's going on in the world around you, then you gotta go straight to the news. And this is where we are at with the news. A new study suggests that dogs and other animals may have a memory that operates very similar to the human memory. Oh my god. Are you trying to say animals are alive? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh my, wow. Where can I sign up to be a scientist? I want to be a scientist. They can just be like, oh man. Next week we learn that dogs and cats bleed. For people, at least, the ability to consciously recall personal experiences and events is thought to be linked to self-awareness. While animals are widely considered not to be self-aware, new studies are showing that dogs have an episodic memory similar to humans which would indicate some level of self-awareness. Claudia Fugaza, an ethnologist at Yovos Loran University in Budapest, and the study's lead author said discovering that this type of memory is not unique to humans means it did not evolve only in primates, but is a more widespread skill in the animal kingdom. Okay, there you go, everybody. Not only are the monkeys thinking, but the dogs and cats are possibly thinking also. Well, duh. Like, come on, man. What were you thinking? Like, when, if, I don't know. But then again, are humans even thinking? Are we are we cognitive? Are we just robots? And is is there faith or free will or is destiny it? And if destiny is it, then I guess well then I'm just destined to make it. Ah, destiny tastes good. I don't know. I think um, yeah, dogs are definitely self aware. If you sting a, if you poke a dog, does he not get poked, or does your poke go right through him? I don't know. I, these are questions that I think about sometimes. And if you have any idea what the answer might be, and you could explain it to me, give me a call at nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Just like this creature did. I guess I can't just uh, lock it down to people anymore. And again, I am a talking rat, so man. Do a study on me. Get me paid over here. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Nick the Rat. This is Alex, man. Uh, calling in this is not a joke call. This ain't no silly call or nothing. Uh, this is a legit call about an experience I had not too long ago in the woods in Minnesota when I was hunting. I usually go out there at night time. I go hunting, you know, same old shit, trying to take out some deer, you know, blow the fucking heads off with my shotgun. But one night, man, I'm sitting there at the camp, and I just got this creepy feeling, man, like there was something around me. There was something watching me. So I pick up my gun, I go for a walk, and I see this light down the way further inward and as I get closer I can't make out what it is right away I see this long gated type of shadowy figure some shit and man I did it man I, I fucking bagged me an alien you bagged him? I got the head mounted up on my wall and everything man oh, I, I, I'm too afraid to take pictures and post them on the yeah, internet cause uh I'm afraid the government will uh, come find me. So, oh boy! Uh, if you want to know more, man, uh, I'll call back in. But uh, it's pretty fucked up. Oh man, um, sir, if you want to get in touch with me, you could do it over private. If you just uh, send me a message over uh, Twitter, the hashtag Sewer Chat, it'll be a hundred percent private. Nobody will know. Attach pictures. 
Oh my god, he has an alien head mounted on his wall. You heard it here, folks. Right? It's oh my god. The aliens are here. And their heads are on our walls. Holy crap. Yeah, and, and then... Oh, gee. All this crazy stuff is happening. And then you go to the news and what do you, you get mess you get news about dogs? L- listen l- b- 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 listen to this other one about dogs over here. This this one blew my mind. If you ever wondered why your dog is suddenly showing a lot less interest in his favorite stuffed animal, it's because you stopped feeding him cocaine. I don't know, but why? Okay. Apparently there's a scientific explanation for all of it. Researchers have been hard at work looking into it in fact and have discovered that many dogs actually have a preference for new things or novelty. All right, okay, well, oh boy. All right, so basically it turns out dogs and people are the same things. I guess, I don't know. What what is this even about? Some scientist found out that dogs like new things? Is that even like a study? What was it? And I'm living in a sewer, everybody. And whatever. Or let, let's let's find out. Maybe there is a a good reason why these dogs like new toys. It's called neophilia. neophilia. Neophilia explains why your dog tends to get so excited when presented with a new toy he hasn't seen before, Ooh. and starts arf, arf. snubbing the old collection. It all stems from a study back in 2008, where researchers from the University of Gießen in Germany and the University of Lincoln in the UK played with 17 dogs with two different toys. They After- played, wait, when they say played with them, do they mean like a priest and a boy, how they play? Or do they mean like... Never mind, I'm sorry. That was horrible. That was a horrible jump. They're playing with each dog with both toys. The dogs were shown a lineup of three different toys apiece. The two they had seen before and a brand new one. The dogs went straight for the new toy in a whopping 38 out of 50 toys. And the study's results were published in the scientific journal Animal Cognition. Wait a second. I, I, could, exp- I could expand on this. I, I would actually like to uh, become a scientist. I have, uh, I have ideas how we could uh, make this even more scientific. Well, are dogs uh, homo- homogeneouses? No, I mean, uh, uh, are they polygamist or are they... If, Basically, what I'm trying to say, do do dogs only stay with one mate? And what creatures do? Do lions do that? I think lions stay in with just one, one, uh... But if you put... If you just got, like, Lassie floating around and you put some, like, a uh, dog pussy on the leash for it, will, will it go after it? Well, even if it had, like, pups with this other dog? How... Ma- how ma- malignant are our dogs? Maybe they just like new whatever, and and that's because they're they're they uh, they don't like the family union or un- unit un- young you. Uh, yeah. But what about creatures that are lo- loyal to one partner? But I think like lions. Let's see if lions like new toys. I would love for these scientists to go out there. And basically, uh, check that out. And that would be really cool. They could travel far and short. Traveling in far and short strides. By Eliron Ben Ishai. I-S-H-A-I. Do dogs celebrate Thanksgiving Day? Yeah, they probably do. Hey, 
motherfucker. Liz, who you call his chicken, yo? You're a badass motherfucker. Pick up the phone. Seriously. What if I didn't laugh because I saw it before? Everybody, well, uh, happy song. That was amazing. That was Traveling Far in Short Strides by Ellie Ron Ben. I-S-H-A-I. I don't know. Oh, you could uh, find all this at uh, uh, SoundCloud. These are all there. They're all free. And they, they have, like, that crazy open copyright license. I don't want to get sued, you know. Oh, man. So I'm sitting here drinking wine. And, I, uh, and I'm thinking about past shows, and it really upsets me that my S's s- s- do that. I've been trying not to do it, and it's been on my mind this whole time. I think I, I think it's a... Uh, it might be from fluoride in the water. I think it's the fluoride. I don't know why are those... Uh, s- 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 oh, man. Now you're going to hear it now, too. I just infected your brain with my own paranoia. Paranoia spreads. It's a... It, oh, boy. Maybe it's the wine that causes more... If, if I didn't have this crazy voice, maybe I wouldn't do it. But this is the voice that I was given. Also, you know what makes me mad? I watch Star Trek and stuff like that. And, and usually when the hero is... Uh, in prison, they they openly talk to people about their plans to escape. It's like there's no cameras anywhere. West Westworld has that issue right now too, unless there's something else going on. I don't know. There's so much these futuristic uh, TV shows where they they lack things like cameras and sound recording devices. Really, really gets on my nerves. If you want to give me a call at nine one seven seven one nine five nine nine two, wow. Nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. That's my number. Give me a call like uh this entity did. I guess I could call you guys entities, right? Everybody that's here is a enti- entity an entity. Oh, hello, this is this is Hilbert. <laughs> well, 
why are onions the only thing that can make you cry? <laughs> I'm cutting onions right now. I think they're from outer space. There's nothing that like wood. I can't even think of any other vegetables that but you cut them will make you cry. This is not human. Well, what do you think, Nick the Rat? <laughs> Uh, onions are the work of the devil. You're right. That is exactly why you cry every time you cut into one of them. You're, l- you're releasing spirits of the Indians that used to live before they died. And then they went to the soil and into the onions, and every time you cut one of them open, you start crying. It's pretty horrific. I don't like it either. I don't even want to think about that. Let's uh, go to some news and see what else is out there. Let's see what's on. Man. Uh, How do you work through a lisp? Lisp in it. I wish I could lisp lip smack. All right, let's listen to this some news right here. Officials are calling it the largest seizure of pills and one of the largest drug busts in Utah history. No! DEA agents raided a home in Cottonwood Heights on Tuesday and found an absolutely catastrophic drug operation. In addition to almost $1 million in cash and what DEA agent Brian Besser believes will ultimately tally more than a million fentanyl pills, agents also found a pill press, likely used to turn powdered fentanyl into counterfeit oxycodone tablets. Besser says... It's weird. Well... Yeah, they used the press to make the fentanyl into oxy. How much cheaper is fentanyl? Let's see. Price of fent. Price of fentanyl. Can I look this up right now? Price of fentanyl. Fentanyl. There we go. Fentanyl prices, coupons, and patient assisting program. Wow, I can just buy it. Wow, woo. Like, can I go to shopping? Fentanyl? Let me see if uh, Google Shopping works with fentanyl. Uh. No, it's not on Google Shop, but I wonder how much they're saving these uh, drug dealers over here. I don't, I don't know. As the press output could be thousands of pills an hour, it would be very safe to say people have died from this operation. Besser tells. Ken- it would be very safe to say. Well, aren't you guys like f- the news? Come on, man! You guys know what's going on. You're supposed to go know. You're oh, man. I want to hear that again. That made me a little mad could be thousands of pills an hour it would be very safe to say so the press could do a thousand pills per hour but they're not sure what it did and they're pretty damn sure that it possibly killed people all right let's let's listen more people have died from this operation Besser tells ksl noting fentanyl is far more potent than the oxycodone buyers would be expecting for non-opioid users simply touching fentanyl can kill which is why ABC4 reports the scene looked like something out of a science fiction movie with agents clad in hazmat suits and using scuba tanks. All right, it makes me feel a little bit better listening to that because I heard her S's slur too. Maybe I'm normal. Maybe my S is sounding... Maybe that's just what S's sound like. Holy crap. I figured it out. I'm not crazy. We're all doing the S thing. The S... The power of the S... Compels you. All right, well, that did make me feel better. All right, so there's a... We learned that fentanyl could touch touch kill you. It's like, uh, bad for you. Ooh, it's bad. And, uh, wow. If anybody uh, listening has ever done fentanyl or K9, give me a call and let me know about it. At 917-719-59923. Did I say two nine? Did I say five nine 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 nine? I have I have a little feedback in the head heads. Uh, it helps, but uh, sometimes you forget what you said. And give me a call. Hey, right, it's uh, it's Jimmy. Uh, you know, hey, I'm just uh, I'm calling you right now because uh, kind of uncomfortable situation. I'm in. Uh, and I just um, look. I'm wondering. I mean, if you have any advice. But uh, yeah, so I was doing a bunch of K two, right? And then I did a lot of coke, and I did a little bit of heroin, and you know, I kind of uh, I tried to like you know even myself out, but I couldn't. And uh, you know, basically. Uh, I got something stuck on my ass. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't want to say what it is right now, but uh, it's kind of fucked up, and uh, it could end my life. So if you could, could you come by uh, after you're done with your show, and could you get this out of my ass, please? Thank you. Um, Jimmy, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I, I might be able to come before the show is over to pull that out of your ass. I could probably get over there while during the song week. We're going to listen to a song now, and 
I'm gonna go grab a. Uh, <laughs> which song should we play? I'm sorry, I'm looking at my list of songs over here. And this one fits the mood. New Order, Blue Monday, remixed by Thomas Penton. You got a blue anus right now. <laughs> what? Where are you, Jimmy? I'm gonna. I'm Jimmy, Jimmy. I'll be right back. I gotta,
Hashtag Sucha. They're at the club right now, everybody. It's me, Bo Blitz, Hayes, Leo Chill, Nick the Rat, Sapphire, Bork, Bushy, Bush, Bonton, Ducky, Ren, Nick the Rat, and Spooky R and Vegas Knights. Did that remix right there? Well, that was a bootleg mix. Bootleg, everybody. Oh boy. Sorry, hold on one sec. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, I felt like uh, I was hanging out with Blitzed in Tijuana with some lady boys right there. That was a pretty awesome song right there. Um, if you like that song. And you wear a thong. Give me a call at 917-719-5923. Oh, man. Hey, Nick. <laughs> this is Herbert again. Oh, no. I was thinking about it more. and Oh, uh, well, there's the jalapenos. Those will probably burn, but I guess you'll cry from that. The only other thing I could think of. Tear gas. Tear gas. Did they put onions in tear gas? Oh, why are onions so ungodly? This is craziness. All right, well, let me know what you do. Do they put, oh, I burns. I gotta go. Uh, I think that was the onion guy again. Uh, jalapenos and onion. I guess there is the spirits of something in a jalapeno. It is dead something. Dead people. Oh, man, let me take a drink to that. Man, that's what uh, Thanksgiving should be. Should be like, take shots for all the dead people cultures well you know things die and then there's new things there's new new cultures new things to make you cry i'm sure in 10 years we'll find something else that we could cut into that'll make you cry possibly i guess i don't know let's see maybe the news will tell us let's go to the magical news machine oh wow i got a phone call let's see if this works Hello, he- hello. That's the magical news machine. Hello, caller. Please turn down your radio. Oh, wow. I got a phone call. Hello. 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 It's Blister. Happy hey, Turkey Day. Do you hear me, Blitzed? Yeah, I hear, I hear you. Awesome. Happy Turkey Day to you. Yeah, except for the Indians that are battling in North Dakota, trying to keep the pipeline. Of oil from polluting their water. I heard they use tear the, gas on the, them. Yeah, the fake news doesn't give a fuck about them. Um, so that's really happening. How many are out there protesting? I don't know. They get they get sprayed with fire hoses and get hypothermia. And it blows the skin off of their bones, and some lady might have her arm amputated because they got hit with one of those concussion grenades well that's well she they they're they're selling those robotic arms and things that they give people now so that'd yeah, be kind of cool but, but 
she's stuck with Obamacare, so wah, wah, wah. She needs, like, deus ex care. But uh, they, these, they're, they're protesting because they're building pipelines through their, their reservations? Was that what's going on? Yeah, they, they, like, go through their sacred burial grounds, and they're going to have the pipeline cross the Missouri River and leak all sorts of nasty black goo into it oh man i heard they were they were they were disposing like world war ii poisonous nuclear weapons under the water recently too man yeah who the hell knows i have no idea but imagine one day you're sleeping and you wake up and the government's putting pipe through your window Uh uh-huh well then again i don't know but imagine if you had well how much land do they have i don't know i don't want to sound like i already already know what they should do they should they should tap it like the terrorists in the Middle East. Tap it and then resell it to Mexico or something, right? Tap into the Middle East and sell it. To, we should sell no, the Middle no, no, East no. to Mexico. If, yes. if, if the pipeline gets built, tap into it and resell the oil to Mexico or something. Wait, the, who, the, the Indians should do this? Use it for terrorist funds, right? Well, the terrorists always win. Because counter counter terrorists are usually silly. That's how I've seen it. Uh, so, any Thanksgiving Day plans in the sewer? Oh man, the sewer leftovers or what? I'm gonna have whatever comes down count, comes 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 on down the train. I'm making burritos. We'll send you burritos. Oh man, <laughs> sounds like you're partying over there already, man. Mm, I really hold on. <laughs> no, Mr. Rat. We'll just send you burritos. You're gonna send me burritos? Yeah. I would like five big burritos down the tubes, please. Okay, and some tamales. Tamales and burritos. Oh man, it's gonna. You be just have to send me your man. address, or we can send it to you. Otherwise, we won't send it. You just have to airdrop it down in New York City. Throw it in the streets. I'll find it. Yeah, whatever. I'll be in New York on the 8th, so I might take it with me. Talk All right, you. well, you, you bring the, the burritos, and I'll show you the sewers. It's going to be crazy. Okay. Hold on. Here's Blitz. Hold on. All right. Hey, hey. Hey, Blitz, man. Yo, know, if you come down, I'm going to show you all the sewers. It's going to be crazy. We're going to go sewer surfing. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> all right. Do you want to say uh, happy Thanksgiving one more time to everybody out there in the sewer chat world? I got, sewer I got, chat I gotta go, world. I gotta go. You to, mean I gotta, hashtag sewer chat? Right? That's what I'm talking about. That's that's yeah, yeah. Hashtag sewer chat. Thanksgiving greetings to all. All right, man. I'll talk you to over you. turkey and pass out on the couch. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later, man. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for calling. Mm-hmm. Woo! All right, so see, it works. The calling line, it it it's definitely there. I should have had him on for the news segment that I was going to play, but. Let's listen to some news. A new U.S. survey finds about one out of seven. All right, surveys and scientists. What's going on here? It seems like all the news. You'll believe it if they say it's a survey or a scientist. It's like, I'm in. I'm in, baby. Gotta hear that news or the survey. Seven children in sixth and ninth grades have been a victim of stalking, potentially boosting their risk of substance abuse, dating violence, and other dangers. What the hell? Wait, okay, hold on. One in seven young teens are subject to to, to being stalked? Isn't 100% like seven out of seven people are being stalked by the government? And that's what, wait, I see it now. This news article explains a lot. We all know we're being stalked and we're all doing drugs. Oh, man. I wish I was a teenager again. That was great. Oh, right, let's listen back in. It doesn't confirm that being stalked makes it more likely that a teenager will do risky things or become a victim in other ways. What? The research findings do raise the prospect that stalking among teens is a hazard beyond the fear and danger that it creates. What the hell? Lead author Dennis Reedy, a behavioral scientist with the U.S. All right, there we go. We have a scientist now. It's a scientist trying to sell his studies. And he... <laughs> And this is a whopper. But why is... Well, it's it's on whoa shit news. Okay, this is not on CNN, but this, this is real. This is really happening, people. They're scientists. And sometimes they get famous. 
Sometimes they got a really good point, but a lot of the times it's this. U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Division of Violence Prevention said, teen stalking is a public health issue. A lot of kids are being stalked. A lot of kids are being stalked, everybody. Whoa, shit news. Holy crap. You know what they're not being stalked over, though? They're not being stalked over Firewire. Slice and dice! Wow. Oh, sorry for that abrupt ending. Sometimes I just get so into the music, I start dancing around the fucking sewer, and then I forget to end the song out. But that was a uh, Firewire for, uh, by Slice and Dice. Slice and Dice. Let's see if there's a... Uh... Yeah, I remember that song from back in the day, Firewire. That was like, wow, what is this weird electronical music? Hold on. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long show, everybody. Uh, to make it less long, we should skip right to voicemail, right? Actually, no, wait. We have to take a commercial break, everybody. We have to, we have, we're going to go to commercial break. Sorry, here we go. Uh, cut, cut, cut into the commercial over here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
It's better every time you hear it, I think. I don't know. Uh, we had one episode of Bigfoot Assault already with uh, on the Dark Sewer Network. That was a... Uh, it was not so bad. Mystery Man, he did his thing. He's got some other stories they just sent in. And he'll read them all for you. We got Larry tonight, though. Larry has... We got it hot off the presses. Press... The breastuses. We got it hot off the breastuses. Oh, boy. All right, I'm starting to slur my speech, and that means it's time for news. This one's the biggest one I've heard. You know what? Let's let's dial it back to one that's not so big. We're going go to we're gonna go one step back. Next time you get a sunburn, careful where you buy your aloe vera. Scientists say the soothing gel sold under Walmart, CVS, or Target brands actually contains no aloe vera whatsoever. All right, there you go, everybody. Your aloe vera doesn't have aloe vera. All right, the news clip is long. And let's go to... All right, you know what? Let's go full news. Here we go, everybody. This one. This is a story to tell your children. If you were to undergo a head transplant, how would you mentally prepare yourself for life with a new body? Um... I would not plan for life anymore. A head transplant. A head transplant. We, I'm sure we'll get there one day. Maybe we're there. Are we there, folks? Are we at a head transplant time? (laughs) All right. Well, well, if you're scared that if you get a head transplant, and you look down and you see your body and you're not yourself and you're going to freak out. Well, of course you're going to freak out. People probably freak out. I'd freak out if I had like a toe transplant. I'd be like, that's somebody else's t- t- whole body. But okay. Listen to how they're going to combat this. Virtual reality, apparently. Oh! I've gotten ahead of myself, haven't I? Oh, Italian a, yeah. neurosurgeon Dr. Sergio Canavero has ambitious and controversial plans to carry... And also fake plans. <laughs> A head transplant. He's talking about how he's going to use VR to help a tread head transplantee. Because <laughs> there's, there's none of... Has this been done before? Am I going crazy? Has, if you heard about a head transplant and I'm just retarded, give me a call at 917-719-5923. Wow, this guy did a TED Talk. Oh boy, yeah. I, I used to like Ted. I used to. I used to. <laughs> All right, let's listen to this. I I haven't seen Ted in so long. I just because I think I've learned people lie. Carry out the world's first head transplant procedure by the end of next year. Canavero wants to remove a patient's head from his body and then <laughs> attach it to a healthy body from a donor. The planned surgery has. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's, I, they want a healthy body from a donor. Hello, yes, my name is Bob. I'm totally healthy. Please <laughs> cut my head off. Is that... Oh, hold on. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm losing it. I'm losing it over here. This is retarded. Sure. Canavero wants to remove a patient's head from his body and then attach it to a healthy body from a donor. The planned surgery has quite a few critics, many of whom say that even if it is successful, having someone else's body could cause unknowable amounts of psychological stress. All right, so this guy's like, wow, one day in the future, if somebody is stupid enough to donate their body for science, and we, we gotta, we're going to, you know what they're going to do? They're going to strap a vibe to your head. 
That's where the VR comes in. Speaking in Glasgow on November 18th, Dr. Canavera said he'll be using virtual reality to help alleviate the psychological risks. He'll be using a system developed by Chicago-based company Inventum Bioengineering Technologies that will, in theory, acclimate the patient with the experience of having a brand new body. For Newsbeat Social, I'm Molly Real. All right, Molly Real, you got to get your- you got to get yourself a better job. <laughs> oh, boy. People in the chat are talking about putting your head on a, a dog's body. That'll, that'll lower the gap. That'll close it in. Hold on. I got to do a check. I got to do a time check here. We got a, a one, three, four, five. I got to do... Sometimes you got to just say numbers. One, two, three... Wow, okay. We're going to do a voicemail and then we're going to go to a song. This is another voicemail coming to you live from Nick the Rat Radio, live from the sewer. 917 0001650095099 or message for Lord Rat the Underlord. We have what you requested, Doc. Please make it known where you are located for delivery for package. 009-765-4387-009 from Amazon.com. That sounds like I fucked up on my shipping address or something. You don't want to do that. Sometimes things get shipped to the wrong house. Like, say you got, like, a computer shipped to your house by accident. Somebody put the wrong address. What do you do? Well, hey, I actually figured out here. You want to hear the key rule to life that I don't think anybody tells anybody. All right. All right are you ready, everybody? Sit back and relax. You're about to get the best advice of your life. And I think I learned it from TV. This is the uh, never answer your door unless you're expecting somebody. Never answer your door at random. There is only one in a billion chance it'll be good. The other, most of the, I would say 99% of the time, it'll be, it wouldn't matter. But then there's that 1% that's going to be bad. All right. So if you don't answer your door, you're not going to miss anything incredible. You won't be able to pat yourself on the back for help. Well, if you live like in the middle of nowhere, the, 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 these numbers change, but just don't answer your door unless you're expecting it. I don't know. That's all I could really tell you because if you don't, it's, it's, sometimes there's really hot nights in Los Angeles. Three chain links. Nights in Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn. I said that word.
Damn, I didn't even play any weird monkey noises over that one. That was uh, Hot Nights in Los Angeles by Three Chain Links. They're going somewhere, those people. Wait, one, two, three. Wow. Okay, I miscounted everybody. Let's go back in time. Join me. Uh, hop on my... Hop on, hop on my uh, carpet. And let's go back in time. To a time when there were Indians and things. And a time when news came to you live from Wochit. A time when Zika was a threat. A time when Zika wasn't a threat. And then a time when Zika might be a threat. Researchers reported Tuesday babies exposed to the Zika virus in the womb can look normal at birth but later show signs of the devastating birth defect microcephaly and other brain abnormalities. So All right, and how long into the the birth? All right, how long has Zika been a thing? I think we all heard about Zika last year. So now they're like, don't worry. Well, actually worry. They're telling you to worry again. They're like, hey. Your baby might look fine, but when their body grows and their head doesn't, that's the Zika. That's got to extend the, the fear for a little bit while longer. Because, hell, if I if I had a baby, like, in the past six months, I'd be a little freaked out. I'd be like, oh, man, I had a mosquito bite or two. The, kid, the kid's head might... But then I was like, wait, his head looks good. But now it's like, oh, no. His head might look good now, but tomorrow, ooh, you're fucked. Scientists found that 13 infants in Brazil who were exposed to the mosquito-borne virus during gestation had normal head size as newborns, but subsequently experienced slower head growth. The researchers reported, That is horrifying. That's, I don't know, actually, both are pretty horrifying. Had small heads and that's just, oh, Wow. I'm happy I was born as a cartoon rat, and I hope everybody listening is happy that they weren't born with a small... Then again, maybe having a small head, small brain, out of sight, out of mind, or something. I don't know. Eleven of these babies were diagnosed with microcephaly, an abnormally small head and brain, and other neurological complications associated with Zika syndrome. Oh, According to a news release from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, among infants of mothers exposed to Zika virus during pregnancy, the absence of microcephaly at birth does not rule out congenital Zika virus infection or the presence of Zika-related brain abnormalities. There you go. Watch it news. Spreading the fear. Spreading. They're spreading everything. I got You gotta give it to them. God bless Watch it. Oh, man. Times like these when you got to sit back and relax and wait. Man, this this vaporizer thing is cool, but it's not the same thing as like a like a physical thing that you, you like. Wow, I'm, I'm pressing a battery into a little box and waiting for it to vape. OK. It'll never be as fun as like a lighter and paper and fire. Fire. It'd be uh -huh. Yeah, so I don't know what uh Rainer's been doing up in outer space. He's probably gonna be having at uh Thanksgiving dinner with Kerrigan's parents this year. Hold on, I gotta pour this other we still got more news. We got wait, do we? I gotta look hold on. Another pro another promo? Well, yeah, the Larry, the Larry. Well, yeah. All right, so the Larry show is on tonight, and we got to play another promo for it. This, this is Larry, and I, I snuck into Nick the Rat Studio. I, uh, I'm hosting my own show on the Dark wow. Network. Here in the sewer. Yeah. Ah, easy. Oh, yeah. Tune in every Sunday at 
1 a.m. Uh, or Monday, I don't know. And I reveal all the truth and conspiracies of the Zika virus and the alien DNA. <laughs> That's coming up after the show. It'll be on the stream. I gotta... Working on that. The Bigfoot Assault episode one came out. That was uh, it was kind of fun. If you didn't hear it, well, you're missing out. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I was gonna play a little clip of the Bigfoot assault, but you, you know, if you you know where it is, don't you? Do you know where it is? All right, I gotta do. Oh, wait, hold. On. Wow, math is kind of important. It helps you plan things. Math is a, but if you rely too much on it, is that a bad thing to rely too much on math? I don't know. Let's listen to a voice. If you think relying on, if you think relying on math is bad, can we call it nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three? It might be good. You might want to. Maybe computer models is God's word. I don't know. But if you think what this or that, let me know. Let's see what uh, this uh, this thing. Um, well, I guess if you left me a voicemail. It might have been fate. It might have been destiny. It might have been uh, free will. You might have left him. It could. It could be. I don't know. It, something left me a voicemail. Some. Some. I got a voicemail. Let's listen to it. Oh, hello there, Mister Rat. I. This is Deirdre Moonbeam. I'm calling from Jamaica, Yaman. Yeah, I was hearing about your show. Oh, so exciting. I love mushrooms. Did I tell you? Oh, mushrooms are great. I heard about other things, but, you know, there's mushroom fields right outside my house. You know, I take a little sprinkle. I put it in my nose. I put it on my tongue. I see lots of colors. It's awesome, man. You should try some. You know, maybe I'll freeze dry them and send them to you over there. Oh, Poppy, you would love them. They would be so good for you. I bet they make your show even more awesome than it already is. All right. This is Deirdre from Jamaica, yeah? Oh, man. This is going to be great. Uh, Deirdre, thank you, I guess. uh, I guess mushrooms will make everything better if you like them. I don't know. They always make me feel wet. I always sit and like, wow, I'm feeling feeling trippy right now. But if you want to come down to the sewers, and we could, uh, we could, you could trip like I do, man. I'm 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 liking that older style of music, but we're gonna play some of that. We're gonna play some of that newer. Come here, come over here. Hello, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play that newer style of music. Sorry, I was just molesting your ears, and I'm gonna go behind your ears. Hello. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. All right. Uh, we're gonna listen. Let's listen to the. This is some newfangled stuff. Night Nightcrawler. Night Rider. Or Auto Cruise by Nightcrawler Music.
Hey, motherfucker. You're a badass motherfucker. I just wanted to tell you that. Now, show me your list. Songs ending. I gotta come back. Oof, oof. I was right. It was the song ending. That was. Wait, hold. On. Nightcrawler with Night Rider. Nightcrawler music. Something like that. That was part of it. Most of it. Part of it. Most of it. Wow. Today was a really interesting episode. We've learned all about how, why we eat turkey. We learned about dogs being self-aware. About why they like toys because they're fucking, they just like fucking around. Dogs like fucking around. I guess rats like fucking around. I don't know. Do we all? Do lions fuck around? Are lions the only monogamous creature? I think seahorses do. Seahorses are definitely monogamous. Uh, We learned about uh, drug bust and fentanyl. We learned about teens. Being stalked by the by everybody, I guess. Teens are just hot. Uh, we got a uh, VR headsets and head transplants. We have lisps and how everybody has them. Okay, it's not just it's not just me. I get, I could get rid of it if I wanted to. I like my lisp. My S's are so in your head. We learned about aloe vera not being aloe vera. We learned about Zika. How even though you don't have a small head now, doesn't mean you shouldn't freak out because you're going to still have it. Let's learn about this now. Let's learn. Let's see what else we want. Burger King does not have many healthy options on its menu. All right, everybody. There we go. Go home, everybody. Yeah, we just Bigfoot. (laughs) Wait, wait, no. Burger (laughs) King. Burger King does not have any healthy options. Not Bigfoot. Bigfoot's not a healthy option either. As we should learn and know from Bigfoot Assault. He's not healthy, people. Stay away from Bigfoot if you see him. But if you see a Burger King, stay away from there too. The only fruit they have is applesauce. One of the healthiest options. That's not even fruit. She said the only fruit they have is not a fruit. Their fruit is applesauce. Where is that? Is that on the... There's oranges and grapes and applesauce. 
No, some, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't. Oh, wait, hold on. That does not sound right. That does not sound right. On the menu is Burger King's tender grilled chicken and garden grilled chicken salad. One of the worst things on the menu is Burger King's Whopperito, which is a mixture of burger meat and queso. Just Wow, burger meat and cheese. Usually they put cheese on top of your burger. They don't mix it in with your burger. Of course, man, cheese is really good, though. Cheese, cheese makes life great. But it winds up killing you, it seems. Oh, man. Cheese is like fentanyl. Just one gives a person half of their daily needed sodium and saturated fat. If you want fries or onion rings, go with the value size. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm really confused. Wait. Hold. Wait. Hold on. I, you probably didn't hear that because I was talking, but listen to how this ends. Listen to how this ends. Did fat. If you want fries or onion rings, go with the value size. If you want fries or onion rings, go with the value size. What does that even mean? Go with the value size. If you want, if you want fries with that or onion rings, go with the value. What is the value size? What, what is the value size? What is, what is the value size? Do you know Blink, Blin X, Blin X? Do you know? No, you have a portal though. Get your cheese! It's Cheesy Thursdays, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to be live from the center. At... Take the rat! Radio coming live from the Dark Sewer Network. Larry's coming up after the show. I don't know what to expect, so I didn't listen to it. Hey, 
By B L I N X. Oh man, it's it's really weird being a rat. You're covered in fur. You think it's not so bad, but if you it may, even chicks might understand this. But you you know when you grow hair and and you just get kind of itchy. You just kind of itch yourself. There's things in your hair you don't know where they're. You do sometimes you got like yeah oh. Oh, I feel so good to just itch yourself. Especially when you're furry. Furry all over everybody. That's what I'm talking about. This is the furry all over episode. If you want to give me a call at 917-719-5923. If you're furry all over, give me a call. If not, then don't. But if you do, then yes. Uh, Let's listen to this voicemail. Somebody left this one for me. I feel it's special. I think it's because of the last voicemail I have. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, man. It's a rat. This is Bradley. I'm calling you from Taiwan right now. We're lady boys? I've been playing a, this game called Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I heard it was just for kids, so I was like, sure, I could I could play some role-playing games and throw some dice. Sounded fun. But then my DM, he summoned a demon that came through the table. I'm not fucking around, man. It came through the table. It was glowing red and purple, just light and bolt colored from the center of the... I don't even know how he did this. It might have been a projector. It might have been mushrooms. I have no idea what we were doing that night, but Dungeons and Dragons. It was... I think there's a demon coming for me now. What? Oh, shit. I see something outside of my window. It might just be the demon again. Oh, yeah, when we were playing, I forgot to mention that he ran outside the door. He came to the table and ran out the door. What? With the demon? The DM shit his pants, so I had to go home. DM shit his pants? All right, I got to go. Bye. All right, if your DM shits their pants, you should probably go home. You don't want to be, you don't, you can't DM a game of D&D with demons running around with shit in your pants. Can you? Oh, boy. Now, that last one, ooh. Well, everybody, I think it's coming to the time where... Where we just gotta, we gotta just play the last piece of, last piece of news. Here we go, everybody, last, last piece of news! A Massachusetts man named Shemroy Williams allegedly tried to use Cheetos to burn his ex-girlfriend's house down with her... Alright, well, his name is Shem, Shemroy. Names, well, see, man, this is... This is why I listen to whoa shit news. You get you get names you could use in your D and D campaign. Shemroy. I would have never thought of the name Shemroy. A Massachusetts man named Shemroy Williams allegedly tried to use Cheetos to Oh and Cheetos to burn down a house? Allegedly. How did they know? Let's let's let's, let's, let's we're gonna let let's lisp in. 
burn his ex-girlfriend's house down with her inside and has been sentenced to 36 months in jail. In March, two women called police to report 31-year-old Williams attempting to set fire to the house in five different places. When the officers arrived, they found Williams with two lighters and an empty package of Cheetos. All right, are you okay? This is why this is the news of the day. Cops found him with two lighters and an empty bag of Cheetos. So they they said he tried to, he tried using Cheetos to burn down the house. Now, now just because did, did they find flaming Cheetos in that? Did they find? Hold on. Did they find flaming Cheetos in the house? Or was it... Or did they find a guy with a lighters and an empty bag of Cheetos? I, I'm going crazy. I can't... I can't deal... I can't... I gotta... All right, we're, we're gonna... I gotta go to the store to get some Cheetos. I gotta find... I, f- I found like 50 cents. I could probably panhandle. It's kind of easy for rats to panhandle. Especially in New York City people. If you, if, you, if you see a rat with a sign, people are very eager to throw money at it. It's just, it's weird. So I do that sometimes. I just want to say thanks for everybody uh, for tuning in, tune, tune in. Oh, man. I, have a, I found I have a lisp and I can't say tuning in thank you for tuning in stay tuned for (laughs) this this is Larry and I I stuck it too Nick the Rat Studio. I, uh, I'm hosting my own show on the Dark wow. Network here in the sewer. Yeah. Ah, this is, oh, yeah. Tune in every Sunday at 1 a.m. Uh, or Monday, I don't know. And I reveal all the truth and conspiracies of the Zika virus. An alien DNA. Oh man, I can't wait to hear what Larry has for us. But there's a big special coming up with uh, Larry himself. I haven't heard. I'm going to be tuning tuning into that one. But it'll be on the stream as well. Let me just uh, do a quick uh, overview of of the world and life. Let's listen to... Oh wait, hold on. Let's... Get another drink. We're going to pour a drink. We're going to listen to another song. If you want to give me a call, if you're wearing a thong right now, give me a call. If you're not wearing a thong, put one on and then give me a call. And if you have a lisp, lisps, lisp, give me a call too because I want to make sure I'm normal. I don't think Blitz has, Blitz did not have a lisp. Maybe it's just me. I heard there was some news, though. I think that Molly chick... Hold on. Let's go back to this news right right, right quick. Where was she? Oh, yeah, she was over here. Wait, no. the This one had the list, right? Officials are calling it the largest seizure of pills and one of the largest drug busts in Utah. His- I hear a lot of sh- sh- largest, largest pills. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Lisp giving, lisp giving. Maybe that'll be the show title, and I gotta do some artwork for it. Uh, I'll probably also do the artwork for the Larry show too. I can't wait to see it and hear it, so I can make the artwork for it. I'm gonna be doing the creative process then. But well, you know, uh, hashtag Super Chat, everybody. Stay tuned in. I'm getting sleepy too. Everybody's yawning. Time for change. This is a Deftones remix by Enigma Tech. E N I G M A T E K. 
Stay tuned for the late show. Secret show. And then the Larry show.
Elizabeth II.